Hello, my name is Andre, and for this video, I am going to discuss about Newton's third law of motion, the action and the reaction law, or better known as the law of interaction. In this video, I'm also going to discuss about the daily life activities that can be associated with this law. So what is the law of interaction? The law of interaction stated that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The size of the forces on the first object equals the size of the force on the second objects. The direction of the force on the first object is opposite to the direction of the force on the second objects. Examples Standing on the ground or sitting on a chair. Whenever we stand or sit on the ground we feel nothing, but there is actually a reaction force from the ground which counters the weight of our body. The action here is our body weight and the reaction force is a force from the ground to support us. Jumping When you jump, your legs apply a force to the ground, and the ground applies an equal and opposite reaction force that propels you into the air. Walking while we walk we apply a force in the backward direction, and in response, the friction provides an equal and opposite force which helps us to move forward. In essence, if there was no friction then we could not walk. Punching an object. When we punch an object or kick something, the object may break due to our force which is an action, but we also get a force onto our hands and legs as a reaction force. That is why you feel pain after slapping someone or punching the wall, resting against a wall. When we rest against a wall, we get a reaction force from the wall in order to support us. Imagine if someone is to rest in you then you have to apply some force to support the other person. Pushing an object. As we push an object, we exert force on it, just like how the object pushes you in the opposite direction. Ball toss. When we throw a ball upward, force off gravity is applied by the earth on the ball. Ball follows the projectile motion and accelerates towards the earth due to the force of gravity. Dribbling. A ball is able to bounce because of the reaction from the ground. If there was no reaction then the ball would not bounce but rather stick to the ground. Summary. When a body exerts a force on another an equal and opposite amount of force is always exerted back on it. This statement is commonly known as the Newton's third law of motion or the law of interaction. Thank you for watching.